In question number two, they are asking at which region in the load deformation curve, when the load is removed, the object returns to its original dimensions. And the options are option A, toe region, option B, elastic region, option C, yield point, or option D, plastic region. Now, again, it's a typical question that came from biomechanics. Now, let's first see the load deformation curve. From the load deformation curve, as the name suggests, there will be some sort of deformation whenever a load is applied to an object. Now, from this curve, you can see from point A to point B, this is the elastic region. Now, in this region, whenever you applied a force, there will be a deformity. But as soon as you remove the load, the object will return to its original state. Now, from point B to point C is the plastic region. And point B is also called as yield point, right? So, whenever a load is applied in the plastic region, the deformity will be permanent and the object will not return to its original state. And point C is the ultimate failure point. That means the object breaks or there is tear. Now, this came from your Biomechanics Norikin book, page number 80. Here you can see it is clearly written, if the response of loading is confined to the elastic region, the deformation of the material will not be permanent. The structure will return to its original dimensions immediately after the load is removed. Now, this load deformation curve is very important for your master's exam. So, make sure you understand this concept very well. So, the answer of question number two is option B, that is elastic region.